Artie Soderberg is charged with attempted first degree murder and solicitation to commit first degree murder. In October of 2016, prosecutors say Soderberg reconnected with an old friend from high school through Facebook and tried to get him to kill her husband, but instead he went to law enforcement. That friend agreed to wear a wire so detectives could listen to their conversations. When you listen to the wire, were you able to hear statements made by Ms. Soderberg? Yes. And did she discuss uh, a plan to kill her husband? She did. In court, we saw video of the two meeting up in a parking lot to talk about ways to kill her husband. One idea was to kill them all out trick-or-treating with their kids. Specifically, she wanted Mr. Drake to shoot Russell on Halloween in front of her and their children. Her attorney referenced the recording in his opening statement, telling the jury to focus on the actions of Soderbergh's friend, who reported the murder for hire plot to detectives. Now, when you listen to the tapes, those are going to be horrifying. I mean, there's no other way to put it. Those tapes are difficult for me. It's difficult for Ms. Maxwell to have listened to them, but listen to them in a critical way. Think about that in terms of who is eliciting or bringing up this plan constantly. The friend Soderberg is accused of trying to hire also took the stand this afternoon. He said he believes Soderberg was extremely serious about killing her husband. Keep an open mind until you've heard everybody's testimony, including Ms. Soderberg's. <clears throat> and once you've done that, under these circumstances, in this context, you will find Marty Soderbergh not guilty of both these crimes. I will ask you to return the only verdicts that will be warranted by the evidence. Those verdicts are guilty beyond a reasonable doubt of the crime of attempted murder in the first degree and guilty beyond a reasonable doubt of the crime of solicitation to commit murder in the first degree. The trial isn't expected to take very long. Closing arguments could happen as early as tomorrow afternoon. I'm Lindsay Natterich, Krem 2 News.